Will the $1,700 abandoned Porsche Boxer start in three, two, one. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, to another Porsche video. No, this is not about the LS 911. This is about another cheap Porsche Boxster that I just bought and it's getting delivered right now. Literally, the trucker is at the garage. So here's a cold start with a 6.2 liter LS 3 V8. Oh, yeah, it's never gonna get old. So as you can probably tell by the title and thumbnail, we bought another cheap Boxster. Another one. What does this make? Boxster number like six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know. We're straight up addicted at this point, but we can't get enough. They're cheap, awesome sports cars for the money. And historically, we've been able to get great deals on them, flip them for nice profits. And I don't think we've ever lost money on a Boxster so far. So why not try another one? I'll tell you guys all about the car and the deal in just a second. So let's head over to the garage and catch it coming off the trailer and give you my first impressions on the new cheap Boxster. Let's go. Look at that, right on cue, the trucker is here. Oh yeah, check it out guys, the spec is so cool. All right, come on home. All right, I think we're gonna clear, it's awfully low. Look at that, check out the spec with the terracotta interior. This is the baby Carrera GT, I'm telling you, silver on terracotta, headlights need some restoration, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay, a little later in the day now, we got back up here. My brother Christian is here to do this first impression walk around with me. I swear I have not looked at the car. We simply pushed it here off the truck and then I had work to do and I wanted to wait for Christian, so. First impressions, that's it? We're not gonna get this thing running? Okay, well, he's awfully optimistic. We brought some oils and some fuel injector cleaners and all sorts of stuff. This one's gonna need it if it has any hope to run. While we're walking around it, I'll kind of give you guys the full story on it. Typical 3 a.m. morning, I was browsing the inner webs for uh, cheap Porsches and I came across this thing. And it was right up our alley, but not exactly up our alley. Our past Boxster purchases have always been non-running, unknown mileage examples, right? You guys remember the past few videos we've done. If you haven't seen those yet, go watch them. We scored on those Boxsters. But this one is listed as a running and driving car, but with mechanical damage and probably worst of all, get this, I'll show the picture here from the auction. The picture they include to show the mileage of the dash. Uh, does anything look out of place or not right with this picture? Uh, yeah, that would be the tack at 5,000 RPMs and the car being ice cold on the temperature gauge. Uh. So that's already a huge problem right out the gate. It either means that the throttle is stuck and the second we go to try to start this thing, it's gonna blast the 5,000 RPMs or potentially it was running so bad that whoever was there at the yard taking the pictures was like giving it gas to like keep it alive. I don't know. I'm honestly a little worried about this one, but the price was so cheap I couldn't pass it up. I think other bidders saw that and ran the other way. But instead I ran right to the bid now button and uh, I bought the car. I think it was about 1,700 bucks the final bid, so with fees, low 2,000s, maybe 1,600 bucks, because out the door was like 2,200 bucks, which would be, I think, our cheapest boxer yet. What are we thinking? First impressions, Christian. There's a bunch of mold over there. Oh, shoot. Oh, that I did not see. And a hornet's nest. Now that I did not see. Wow, here I'm thinking, wow, the interior is really nice. Oh my gosh, look at all this standing water in here. Okay. Okay, this this is looking like a disaster. Bruh. That's disgusting. There's also some water by the VIN plate underneath the windshield. Also a bunch of green moss mold. Oh no, you can tell this thing has been sitting out for a long time. Look at the brake rotors, completely rusted up. Headlights, shot. That's gonna need a serious restoration. Okay. I didn't see all this in the pictures. I did not see the mold. I did not see the hornet's nest. I did not see all this paint fading and the cracking. Somebody hit the bumper here. Um, okay, this is quickly turning out to be not what I expected. Well, remember guys, this is the uh, mechanical hood release and trunk release. So, there we go. Yeah, see, it just opens right up. Um, Okay, struts, of course. We gotta start doing our due diligence, so we gotta check the oil. I love the early cars, the 986s, how they actually have a dipstick, and we don't have to shoot in the dark like the other cars. Porsche hardware. Great, he loves seeing random nuts and bolts and stuff just thrown around. Okay, come on, please have like oil. 
in it and not water and geez, how long does this thing have to be? Oh great, nothing. Pretty dry. The transport did say it was leaking oil. Uh, this might be our first Boxster miss. What do you mean, man? There's two boxers sitting over there that we haven't unveiled. Yeah, no, we can't show them yet. Yeah, anyway, I'm not gonna show them. Well, crap. Okay, we're gonna need to add oil. Jeez, I don't know if this thing was flooded or what. It was a donated vehicle. For those of you wondering, it wasn't totaled for any uh, crash damage or anything like that. It was another classic donated vehicle. So those are risky buys. Sometimes they're a big win, sometimes they're a big loss, that's for sure. Obviously, we'll do an oil change, but we just wanna have something in it before we try first start. Oh, uh, look at all the spider webs. Oh man, this thing has been sitting for a while. All the dog hair, this looks terrible. But, 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 I will say, well, for starters, it's a really cool spec. The terracotta interior, it's actually in pretty good shape, not gonna lie. And if you're a boxer expert, you would know that this is the upgraded uh, sport design shift knob, the uh, aluminum e-brake handle, the polished kick plates. This is a really nice spec car. Full extended leather package. I mean, this thing is a nice spec. It's just really hard on its luck right now. Oh look, free money. Every car we buy always comes with free coins. This is now like the $2,199.51 Boxster with all that money. Okay, I'm sure it's dead with how long this thing's been sitting for. Yeah, completely dead. Trying to get to the battery would normally be a massive pain in the butt on the later Boxsters, but if we pull this, it should open the front trunk. Bingo. Why did Porsche ever go away from this design? You guys have seen our other videos having to take off wheels and you know rip out the fender liners just to access the battery. With the old style design, it is easy to go just like that. Oh, more dead shocks. Good thing we bought like 10 sets of struts last time on Amazon. What do we got in here? Okay, some CDs, trickle charger, spare tire, and yeah, all the usual. Yikes, all that rubber just disintegrating oh gosh maybe I shouldn't have bought this car but it has potential okay let's smell the gas how's it smell decent yeah it actually smells all right good sign at least you'll know bad gas when you smell it I think this thing was on the road like up until last year but I don't see how I could go downhill so fast in just one year get to the state tires have a ton of tread left they're from 2015 but they're cracking and unfortunately just in the sun. I don't know what wheels these are. I wish they had stock wheels, but whatever. Again, brake rotors, even though they have tons of life left, no lip and fresh pads, unfortunately they're all rusted up. They'll go away when we brake, but still, this thing has clearly been sitting for a long time. Once again, if you're the previous owner, if you know the story on this car, please hit us up. It always makes life a lot easier figuring all this out because right now we don't have much to go on and this is kind of a weird, bizarre story. Speaking of bizarre, you rarely see the hard tops on the Boxsters, so this is actually worth quite a bit of money, I'm pretty sure. That's unique, not having the uh, uh, convertible top anymore. I kind of like that, actually. Okay, we're adding all of our treatments and stuff, like this is gonna do too much, but certainly doesn't hurt. The plot thickens, check this out, guys. I found the most recent registration on the car. This is where it gets interesting. It was last registered 2018, and if we go behind here in the little storage compartment, which is where on the last Boxster I found all sorts of maintenance records and the original window sticker, all that. Instead, on this one, I found a water bottle. And what's that supposed to mean? It has an expiration date. Uh, nine of 18, and that matches up with the 2018, oh, I just showed the name, the 2018 registration here. That now indicates this car has been sitting for probably early 2019, it was parked, so 2020, 2021, 2022, 2020. Ooh, four years it's probably been sitting. That's not good. But at least we know the previous owner, it was a girl, April, over in Fremont, California. I was looking up the home value. You know, it's always nice when they have like a fat house because then they probably maintained it well. She bought the house in 1988 for $185,000 and now it's worth 1.67 million, holy. Wait, wait, let me go to the street view. See if I see the car. The amount of times I've been able to look at the street view of the previous owner and see the car like parked outside. So it only took a quart and a half to get right to the middle. Oh, that's good. Okay. Uh, how much is leaking and how active is this leak? Oh, yep, I can see it right there. Looks like it's coming from the oil pan or maybe the drain plugs. Maybe they didn't tighten that enough. So hopefully that's nothing major, but if it's some rear main seal or something, that would not be fun. Are we about to do this? Just go straight for a first startup? I mean, we did our due diligence better than the past times we bought these cars. I mean, I guess we're good, right? It's got oil in it, full send. Let's do it. 
All right, let's hook up the battery pack and see what happens. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Like Christian said, we got two more boxers and a boxster with a hard top, AKA the Cayman. We just bought a Cayman, it's coming soon. I'm gonna go ahead and say that our luck with the cheap Porsches has officially run out. You gotta subscribe so you don't miss that. Probably the cheapest Cayman ever, like ever. We're finally back on our game with the Porsche content. You all seem to like Porsche content more than any other content on the channel, so. Why don't we just go to full-blown Porsche content? Get it? Porsche, 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 Porsche. Okay. All right, get that jumper pack. Oh, look at all the options. Wow, check that out. The boxers. This is where the option code is. 944s. It's in the back of the hatch. What if this car had the Sport Classic wheels, which are worth a ton of money, but now they were swapped off? They pull the JR Garage. Here we go. I mean, we did everything we should. Battery from 2015. Shoot. The battery's eight years old. This might literally blow up. It was redlined to 5,000 RPMs after sitting for four years by the lot. Jeez, what are we doing? Are we seriously about to do this? 125,000 miles, that's pretty low miles. If this thing cleans up, it's worth a lot as a clean title car with this spec, so we could be in for a huge profit, or if it blows up, well, then we lose money. Okay, if this thing starts the redline, I'm gonna shut it off so fast. It might make terrible noises. They literally listed mechanical damage. All right, without further ado, Will, the $1,700. Abandoned Porsche Boxer start in three, two, one. Nothing happened. To succeed, you must believe. Oh. Oh, my God. oh, 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 yes, no way. Oh, it's running. Dude, that's the exact same sound as the red boxer. I'm telling you, I don't think this is alarming. I swear if the Copart yard heard that and thought, oh no, the engine's knocking, let's mark down mechanical damage after they sit for a long time, they always do that with the lifters since they're hydraulic lifters and you gotta let it sit for about 10, 20 minutes idling to get rid of this knocking noise. Again, you might be hearing this going, what the heck are you talking about? It sounds like the engine's gonna blow up any second. It really doesn't sound good, but I'm telling you guys, if you remember the cheap red 99 Boxster series, you would know that's the exact same sound. So, fingers crossed, in the next five, 10 minutes, this sound starts to go less and less and less. No check engine lights on, no warning lights, except for the airbag light, which that's common on these boxers. If we clear that, it should stay out. I am literally stunned. We do need to go get gas. Five-year-old gas is not it. Okay, I got the goods, two gallons of fresh gas. I swear, why do I always take the electric cars when I go to get gas. Every single time, I swear, these EVs must be so uncomfy having gas inside of them. All right, let's see if we can get this in without making a mess. All well, right. I'm not gonna be able to get that. Don't they say not to put gas in cars when they're running? All right, that made less of a mess than I thought it would. Two Chris. gallons? Yeah, I think two gallons. Two Should gallons? be enough, because it was completely empty. All right, a few small baby revs. That will make the problem worse no matter what. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's not a good sound. Oh gosh. I was confident, but it's been 10 minutes and the sound is still there. Wow, check that out, got two keys. That's really cool, just like the last boxer came with two keys. Usually you just get one. All right guys, what are you thinking right now? Comment down below, knowing what we know now that it runs, but it has this weird noise going on, would you have bid $1,700 for this car like I did? Right now I'm hopeful, but you know, looking at the mold over there, hearing this noise still coming from the engine, and just looking at some overall rough spots, the paint, eh. I'm, I'm still not sure if this is a big win or a big loss. I need that sound to go away. That's really concerning. That is still knocking. Oh, oh, did that help a little bit? Got a little quieter. Oh my gosh, guys, listen. I think the sound went away. Just a few minutes later, a few light revs. Where's the knocking noise? Where's the tapping noise? Huh? 
That's what I'm talking about. How? How? This thing literally has mold growing on it, was sitting for four years, was listed as mechanical engine damage at the auction, paint is shot, was sitting outside for that whole time, I would think, was redlined to 5,000 RPMs. How come we now get it, start it up, and 20 minutes later it's running perfectly fine? Okay, not to say I told you so, but didn't I just say give it about 10, 15 minutes, it's making the exact same noise as the Red Boxster, don't worry, it's gonna fade away and it's gonna run perfectly fine? This is deja vu, 2.5 liter engine, which honestly, I'm a bigger fan of. Dual row IMS, so way more reliable in that department. It has two less catalytic converters, so it sounds way better in my opinion. And even though it has a little less horsepower, the gearing is slightly different, so it honestly feels just as quick. Oh my gosh, listen to it. Nice. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Look who's rolling up. You leave for five minutes and boom, runs perfectly fine. What did I tell you? I brought all this. No, we don't need any of that. Dang. Yep. We even need to do an oil change. Five year old oil, that's gonna be the number one thing we do next video. Yeah, no, I literally don't think you need any of that anymore. I mean, I guess it couldn't hurt to keep adding all of our dietary supplements to it, but listen to this. Perfect. Sounds good. Just what I told you would happen. You were scared. Come on, admit it. I was scared walking up to this car, man. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, I'm, I'm a little scared too still, but. Well, there you guys have it. I think that's a great place to end this part one video. Comment down below what you think of the latest Boxster acquisition. Now, after the noise went away, I'm having a real good feeling about this one. Clean title, clean Carfax, I think two owner car, 125,000 miles. This could be worth like, with a nice paint job. Uh, maybe 10 grand. Okay, final thoughts for the vlog. Another another winner winner chicken dinner. And we didn't even clean this one first and look at it taken care of. Right. Speaking of cleaning, stay tuned. Next video, we're gonna clean it. We're gonna do an oil change. We're gonna go for the first drive. I can't speak too soon because I didn't even put it in first or reverse. What if the clutch is shot or something like that? You never know why people donate cars. It's always a mixed bag, but my day just got even better. Oh, I forgot it's my birthday. It's literally my birthday today. So, wow, that's why it's running perfectly. It's my birthday present from the car gods. Ah. Wow. Anyway, we gotta go to my birthday dinner. We're gonna go to Texas Roadhouse. We're gonna load up on some $11 steak. It's Wednesday, so all day steak for 11 bucks. You can't beat that. We're the most frugal Lamborghini Ferrari owners you'll ever meet. Anyway, I'm so thrilled about this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for part two coming up next. See you in the next one. Bye. Say that it feels right.